Right then everyone, it is The Wanderer, and once again I am still here in Basingstoke for the second vlog of the day. Now if you did watch the last one where I went to the Angel, which of course with a, was a Weatherspoons uh, behind me in Festival Place. Really nice place, I suggest you check out the review if you're ever around, try it out. But on this vlog guys, as I mentioned, I am on my way to Winkleberry Football Complex to watch Basingstoke Town Football Club. Now, this is a club I've wanted to see for so long even in the days where they were playing in the Camrose, and ask any Basingstoke Town fan about the Camrose, and my word, well, they have a story to tell you. It's uh, it's not very pretty, I have to say. But today, I'm on my way there, not just for the football, but to try out the Stoke Burger. You may have seen this post doing the round on social media. A uh, huge burger, seven quid, looks absolutely amazing. I'm there to try it out, and hopefully, cheer on Basingstoke to a fantastic result today. They are absolutely flying in the league, so fingers crossed, Another three points closer to, hopefully, promotion. Anyway, guys, if you do like this kind of stuff, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm The Wanderer, and uh, here we go, up the Basingstoke town, and hopefully Reading too. Let's make a move. As you can tell guys, like most places, I'm using my legs to get there. Uh, so from where my starting point was, around Festival Place, Winkleberry Football Complex is about a 30 minute walk away, which isn't too bad. Might take a bus to the town centre on the way back just so I can give back to Reading. Uh, no train strikes today, which is fantastic. So for those of you that are interested guys, obviously I do love a little bit of non-league football. Um, I do like to see how the teams all around me are doing, you know, your Maidenhead, your Bracknells and so on and so forth. Uh, if you do want to see Basingstoke, as I say, they're flying high at the moment and an adult ticket will cost you £10 for a league fixture. There is a 50p fee if you do it online, so that's what I did, £10.50. Should be a good game, but for me it's not just about the game, it's just to see how that burger goes. Hopefully they sell it, because when I did the uh, the curry box at Scours Lane, apparently I was quite lucky to get it. They don't usually do it on the midweek games, but it's a Saturday, so I should be fine. Let's make a move. I filmed the menu at the right time, thankfully, because in the last few minutes the wind has just been demolishing it a little bit. There it goes. I'll let them sort that out. That being said, there doesn't seem to be an indoorsy place where I can take this burger and eat it, which is uh, it's going to be fun in this wind. All right, well, there goes my uh, there goes my copyright, unfortunately, as we are having some music in the background. But I have it here, guys. I've got the Stoke stack, seven pounds in the box. I think we should all have a look together. What do you think? Alright then guys, so I have to say, it wasn't a huge look, because there's not really much to look at, but it does look absolutely fantastic. Now, I did get them with some fries, so let's try out a fry, two quid, let's give it a shot. Nice and hot, 
really good. Oh, there we go. I can speak normally. Um, really hot. Nice taste, I have to say. Nice and fluffy. Um, not too crunchy either, which is which is always a positive for my fries. Now let's dissect the stoked stack. So I'm gonna. I've got a fork, so I can do this individually. We'll go for the um, pulled pork first. Let's uh, start off with this. Oh. So quite a large bit of pulled pork there. Smells amazing. I'm not gonna lie. It really smells good. Oh man. That is some amazing flavour. Really sweet, a bit chewy, but honestly, pulled pork, that is the way it is to be done. That is amazing. I've taken a bit of the um, cheese and the pulled pork with me on this one. But here's the chicken. I'll try and avoid the cheese, but hang on. I don't think that's gonna work. Here we go. Oh, man. Really soft, succulent, really flavorful. I have to say, guys, chicken burger, spot on. Really, really good. Now we just got the beef, and then the whole thing in one. It's only the tiniest little bit of beef. Tried to get it on its own, but it hasn't really worked that well for me. Of the three things that make up that burger, I think that's the weakest part of the puzzle, but it's still okay. It's just a bog standard beef burger. If you've had them at one football ground, you've had them at all football grounds. Now let's go for the all-in one. Are we ready to get messy? Here we go. Well, because we're watching a game of football today, I'm not going to leave the review for the end. I'll give you the review right now. This is absolutely amazing. It is worth every penny of its seven pound price tag. It is soft, it is hot, it is flavorful, it is juicy. I mean, again, have one more look at this. I mean, come on guys. You just wanna leap through the screen and have that. I'm gonna finish this, enjoy the game. Fingers crossed, three points for the Stoke. Well guys, I have to say, absolutely devoured that. I can only apologise that I couldn't give you the usual shots that I do when I'm eating, you know, the, the different camera angles and everything. A bit hard to do when your eating space is one of the stands, you know, in one of the seats. Again, there wasn't an indoor area where I could, where I could have that, but I have to say, I really enjoyed it. And as far as football food goes, right at the top, it's amazing when you see pictures of food from these big grounds, you know, Premier League, Championship, and then you see like something disgraceful like a, a burnt burger with an uncooked bit of cheese on the top and they charge you five quid for it or something. What Basingstoke have done here is absolutely incredible and God, I wish that was available everywhere else. The Stoke stack, wow, I give that the full, the full marks. That is one of the best, oh, I am stuffed and I'm ready for some football. So here we go, up the stoke.
so the first half is still going on. Um, it's been pretty much all Basingstoke, uh, but Westfield did come forward and they took the lead through an own goal. Uh, you just saw the penalty. Now, somehow, uh, the Westfield player, I don't know the number, I don't know the name, uh, the one who committed the foul ended up coming off with a, a pretty severe injury. Um, you could hear him crying on the pitch. Um, it wasn't a pretty sight. I've been there. I've broken arm playing football before. It's not a nice nice position to be in. Um, the gentleman was, was stretched off. Uh, Basingstoke did score the resulting penalty, but um, yeah, obviously... I've come here just to like record a nice little fun little vlog, you know, record some food vlog, uh, watch a football game. Uh, it is one all, but it's been marred by, I think, a very serious injury, and I can only hope a speedy recovery for the fella. Uh, I'll go check out the second half shortly. Well then guys, if there was ever an advert for supporting local, uh, that's what it is, although of course Basingstoke aren't my local local, but hey, here's one for the comment section for you guys. Um, who is your nearest team? And I'm not on about, you know, uh, one of the Premier League, Football League and so on and so forth. Who is your nearest club? I'd love to hear it because I do love non-league. The English football pyramid is the best pyramid in the world you know you could be at the 11th tier of english football and if fortune smiles on you for many many years you can make it all the way up there that's what it's all about obviously though i was also here to review the stokes stack once again really enjoyed it if your local club does anything better than the stokes stack let me know because i'd love to give it a shot and as for the game itself Basingstoke win 4-1 so uh, I came out on a good day because I hear that Reading had a 2-2 draw so of the two games I chose the right one but once again my heart does go out to the Westfield player who suffered that horror injury I will be keeping an eye on the Westfield social media pages I want I, I hope he's I hope he's okay as I say I had a broken arm when I played non-league it's not a nice position to be in it's really bad I can only hope full recovery comes your way, mate. I really do. But that's that, though, guys. Um, this may not be your kind of vlog. I know it's a little bit different, but I wanted to do another non-league football ground because that's how this channel started, you know? Scours Lane, Woodley United. It was great fun. I enjoyed it. If you did too, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm going to take the nice walk now back to Basingstoke train station and get myself back home. I'm the Wanderer, and until next time, guys, bye for now.